What is up, Bray Gang? You guys already know what it is. It's your boy back at it with another video. And we're going to be reacting to Royce, the 5'9". Um, Caterpillar featuring Eminem and King Green, man. Uh, a bunch of my friends were talking about uh, having me react to this song, man, because it was pretty dope. I've never heard this before. I know who Royce, the 5'9", is. I don't know what his biggest song is, but I, do, I have listened to him before. Um, Eminem, I'm pretty sure we all know who he is. And then King Green, I don't know who he is at all. So that's two don't knows and one person I do know. And on that note, if you guys haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications, you feel me? And um, let's not waste any time, guys. Let's get straight in this video and see exactly what the fuck is going on. Oh shit, this must have been a recent video. Let me let me see when this video was made. Cause Eminem was rocking the same shit that he's wearing now currently. Yeah, May 3rd, 2018. That is nuts. I did not know that was made like within the last year. That's crazy. Yo, this is cold. I love the way this video is shot. First off, just off the rip, I pay attention to uh, visuals more than anything when I watch when I listen to when I watch music videos and stuff, right? Because I mean, I mean, you can listen to the music and then get the meaning out of the lyrics, but I feel like how the music video is shot is a very important uh, aspect to how uh, to how it complements the song and stuff like that. So, yo, this is definitely like this is dope. I'm getting definitely a classic old school retro vibe from this shit. Not really retro, but definitely old school for sure, for sure. And um, yeah, man, I fuck with it. Um, the caterpillar keeps firing. Oh, we in the war. Well, butterflies keep dying. Whoa. Ah. I'm a product of Parker Lewis and Kubiak. If I didn't do this, where in the fuck would you be at? Ooh. See, that's the difference between us. When I speak in arenas, you would trip from my penis. I eat lions and sip hyenas. <laughs> he said, I eat lions and sip hyenas. Oh hell no! Nah. That's crazy. That, that, that's that's a tough ass bar. I eat lions and sip hyenas. Man, dude's type swole too. I didn't even peep that. Buddy swole as hell. You number one when it comes to slaughtered mites. I'm trying to be number one in my son and daughter life. Ooh, damn. That's actually a big statement. Let, let's go back. I'm trying to be no Hold on, hold on. Back, back, back. But I speak in arenas. You would trip from my penis. I eat lions and sip hyenas. <laughs> you number one when it comes to slaughtered mites. Damn, he said you're number one when it comes to slaughtering mites. I'm trying to be number one in my daughter's life. I'm trying to be number one in my son's daughter's, daughter's life. life. Hey. Uh, all you niggas, my little rapper babies. Ooh. All my children, y'all bit my shit and contract the rabies. Oh. Ooh. Yo, he said y'all bit me and contracted rabies. <laughs> That's crazy. That's a tough ass ball. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, he said, your favorite rapper coming at me, I'll just decapitate him. Yo, I, woo, y'all don't even know, man. This generation, this new generation of rap and stuff, like, I'm in the new generation of rap as far as, like, you know, uh, the age group and stuff goes, you know what I'm saying? So, like, literally, like, this new generation is something else. Like, most of it is what people consider mumble, uh, basically rap that has no substance to it. But the older generation, man, I mean, you can't come at, come, come at them any kind of way, like, They'll dig up your, your worst, deepest, darkest, you know, fears and stuff and like body you in like a diss track, man. They don't fuck. When they say diss tracks, they mean legitimate diss tracks. Not no love tap tracks. They mean diss tracks. Nowadays, man, diss tracks ain't really diss tracks like with the new wave, but I fuck with this. It's an interesting hook. It's a very interesting hook. I like it. The Calipitter is firing. 
Um, I wonder what that represents. Let me know. If you guys have your interpretation of what the song is, I'm going to do this. Let, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below because there is no right or wrong, you know what I'm saying? But there is definitely like what we interpret versus what someone else interprets. So let me know in the comments. Oh, we are when butterflies keep dying. Yo, yo, this is dope. So I wonder, I'm wondering if like uh, the guy rapping by Eminem is King Green, or if I'm pretty sure that's that's King Green that's rapping next to uh, Eminem, and then Royce the Five Nine was the guy we just we already we've been saying. Yo, this is tough. When Eminem comes on, yo, Eminem is just waiting. Like, you can see him. He's just literally waiting to say something. When it's his turn to get up there and murder this, bruh, when I say he's about to murder this, he's all he always does. I'm like, what is he going to write this time that's going to blow my mind? And it, it, yo, literally out of left field with it. Like, out of left field with it. <laughs> He said, I do what I want to do, they do what I let them do. That's boss mentality right there, fam. That's, that's dead ass boss mentality right there, bro. Like, I do what I want to do, but you do what I want you to do. <laughs> or what I let you do. <laughs> Hey, Eminem, yo, you already know. He started moving in the music video a little bit, so you already know he's his, he's about to come up real quick. Uh, hey, it looks like, I like how this video is shot in like a dictionary format a little bit, so it looks pretty fucking, um, it looks very interesting, man, very interesting. There's like some old school pictures and stuff of like, uh, you know, um, just some nostalgic moments in their past and everything. I just like how it's filmed. It's very like aesthetic and stuff. It's dope. Hey. Eminem's with it, bruh. He's with it. He's coming tough with them bars, yo. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You are not ready. You're not ready for this shit, yo. Look, look. <laughs> Yo, literally, he just took, like, a decent little shot of Anderson Silva, man, but damn, <laughs> damn, that's all I'm about to say, man, Eminem with the slick, 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 the slickest of the illest flows, man, that's, that's the GOAT right there. telling you this is a tough yo this is the coldest part of the whole song right here i mean i was waiting for this and that's exactly honestly what i feel like his fan base is so like dedicated like, all right yo like no nah, eminem is that nigga bro like <laughs> you <laughs> Yo, oh, we gotta we gotta run that back real quick, man. Eminem with a sick. homage, sad because dad taught you to rap as a damn toddler. My dad is your grandfather. I have to rehab. He said, "My dad is your grandfather." Damn, and he said, "You're just sad because your dad taught you to rap when you were a toddler." 
And you're also sad because your dad's your grandfather. Your dad is my grand. Uh, oh my god. Hold on. Sean, come back as a hold on, hold on, hold on. Sad because dad taught you to rap. God damn, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Yes. He said, oh, yo, lyrical bowel movements, man. He's shitting on everybody. Like, yeah, that's all I'm saying, man. Eminem is shitting on everybody. Got my shoes on. And I don't even matter, I'm used to the loose one. Bitch, it is real like a poop Jerusalem. I'm about to go spin another cocoon and I'm cutting you from your mother's womb and I'm flushing you. Ooh, damn. Well, that was tough. That was definitely Royce of 5'9", Caterpillar featuring Eminem and King Green. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below, man. You know how we get down this channel, bro. Um, we have a lot more content coming you guys' way. Uh, I know this wasn't a super crazy lyrical breakdown, but it was close enough. You know, it wasn't really a lyrical breakdown. I was just appreciating the song for what it is, man. It's, it's legit. Anyways, guys, if there were references I didn't catch, let me know in the comments down below on um, whatnot. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video, which is also the same thing as giving a thumbs up. And uh, turn your post notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace.